we're back again. This time I've got some really exciting news. We've solved, we can solve the BCAD problem. It is in fact rooted in something in scripture. Okay, and I'm going to go through it here. Hopefully, you know, tell me if it's too hard to understand. Remember I had said that Moses was saying that there were 1050 years after he finished writing Psalm 90 that would have to pass after that and then Messiah would be born. That's true. Okay? And almost every scholar you want to talk to will say that Israel rejected God as king in 1050 BC which is... where is it? Where did I put it? Ah, right here. It was in 1050 BC. Alright? So, that, you know, it's like you say, okay, well then, we don't have, what, what's with the 4 B.C. date? Okay, watch. Moses, when he comes up with this number, how did he get it? How did he know that there were 1050 years left? Because, look, 1050 from Jacob's birth. Okay? Okay. In other words, what really happened was the first temple was dedicated 1050 from Jacob's birth. That was when it was dedicated. But that's not when David died. Because David died earlier, because he became king earlier, four years earlier, that's real important, the Lord has to be born earlier because there's an earlier deadline to meet. In other words, when when Moses was writing, he's using this information. Okay? He whether he knew David by name or all the rest of it I, I can't say. But he knew that these were the deadlines. Alright, so he knew that ten fifty years after the end of three hundred and fifty syllables in Psalm ninety, there were gonna be another ten fifty years. He knows that based on this. He knows that based on this. In other words, there are 10, 50 year sub deadlines that are running that he knows about, and he's using those. Okay, and that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. That's God's orchestrating time. But when David dies, he dies such that the Lord has to be born, has to also die within a thousand years after his death. And in order to have the same 40 years, that means the Lord has to be born 40 years prior, which is 1,000 years after David's united kingship. Now, a whole lot, I, I, don't, I don't know if I can call it mainstream anymore, but a whole lot of scholars will tell you that David became king 1,000 B.C. All right? So you'll find that. But the problem is, is that when they go to reconcile all the Bible's numbers, what they have trouble with is that David becoming king here doesn't always reconcile, say, with when the temple dies. Here, let me show you. They don't do, th some of them have done this, but not a lot. The true B.C. is right here. Okay? that Those are the true years. But when you're doing, it's just like with anything else with math. If you're using a different base, for your numbers. You're going to come up with different numbers. So the common scholarship says that the temple died in 586 BC. Okay, well that's the number base using the Dionysus system which has the Lord being born 4 BC. So the distance between the two numbers is still 583. Okay, so if they say that, that the Exodus occurred in 1440 BC, they're still using the same number system as they're using for this in order to be consistent. But other scholars make additions or changes because, you know, like they'll say, he died 33, 33 AD. But they won't change the back end or they won't change it right. And that's why you have so much difference in the scholarly dates. But the biggest reason why you got the difference is that scholars don't realize David died at age 77. That's the number one cause of this problem. Because he dies at age 77 and because the temple 
isn't constructed, isn't dedicated till 13 years later, and it doesn't even begin construction. <coughs> until 3146, you've got a three-year variance there. Christ has to be born three years earlier. Earlier than the deadline that Moses was using. So if you're looking only at Moses and the timelines of, of Saul, and you don't look any further, you're gonna you're gonna find that you have a three year time difference you can't account for, and then you'll just you know lock it lock it off to well the Dionysus 4 BC issue, and you'll stop thinking about it. Okay, so then you miss the point. God's orchestrating time. There are deadlines. This is why the scholars have missed the deadlines. Christ had to die three years earlier. So it's no longer exactly with reference to the temple because the temple started construction three years later in 3146. Okay? That's the problem. Now that resolves the other issue. Okay? We have 54 years credit. Okay? Due to Abram super maturing in 2046. Okay, that's when Abram super matured. That's 54 years before the 2100 would end. The 2100 was the deadline. So there's a 54 year credit owed to the Gentiles. Okay, but here it's a three, it's really three and a half. Okay, it's, it's not 54 years, it's really 30, 53 and a half. At the same time, there's a three and a half year credit owed to the Jews because Christ has to be born three and a half years earlier in order to tag the thousandth year of David's death and still be 40 when he dies. And the rabbis, like I said, they still know it's in Sanhedrin 97A through 99B. That remnant of this rule is still in the Talmud. So they did know about it. Okay. So in order to be born and have the same year 40 as David had, then he has to be born a thousand years from David's united kingship. But David's united kingship was seven years later than he was king at Hebron. And notice this, he's king at Hebron four years, really three and a half, okay, prior to the deadline of 3100. The voting period began in 3100 and then lasted until 3150, all right? If you look at Gene Years XLS, because I don't want to throw too many things at you. If you look at Gene Years XLS, go to 3100, and notice that's when the Civilization 3000 begins, because it's 1050, 1050, 1050. And then from 3100 to 3150 is the voting period for the unbelievers. That's what the, you know, the sabbatical years are based on. That that's what what they buy is the voting period for the unbelievers. Okay, but David is king, as you can see here rounded off four years prior. So look, four, three and a half really, okay, plus he becomes king later and it's it, it's it's seven and a half and three and a half. If you look in 1 Kings 1, they talk about how it was really seven and a half years at Hebron. Okay, so that ends up meaning ten. It's ten. Okay, you can even round it to 11, but there's really, there's, there's a half year overlap there. So you got to call it 10. Okay? I mean, it, I, I don't want to get too technical on you. What I'm trying to say is the 10 years difference in the dedication of the temple is tied to the fact that he was essentially early here. So the Lord has to be born early to correspond to that. Because the timing has to correspond to his kingship. All right, because the Lord is going to be born a king. So he has to be born when on the thousandth anniversary of when David was king over all Israel. Okay, so that's why we have our three-year variance, is that when you look at the older numbers pre-David in the Bible, okay, you can tell that, that, that there's a, a timeline difference of, of like three years. Yeah, because there was a deadline 
that was three years later but that deadline changed and it changed because David died when he was 77 okay he died when he was 77 and the Lord therefore has to die on the thousandth anniversary of David's death no later than that that was his maximum time and he ends up dying seven years early so now because he dies seven years early and David is three years early okay seven of the total ten you know the ten is coming from here here plus here okay pretend that's 3103 okay I don't want to have to keep going on there's a ten year differential and that all shows up right here in the Bible time distance table that's a link on the title page you can just click on the link at the bottom of the title page and it'll be there okay so your true AD and BC are going here he's born we're gonna call that year 0 or year 1 160, 583, 947, 960 1000 from David you know King at Hebron alright and 107 from when he was king of, you know, king at Hebron. This is Jerusalem. Hebron. 1037 from David's birth, because David was 37 and was king of Jerusalem. 1437 from the Exodus. So if you want to create BC dates, say that the Exodus was 1437 BC, David was born 1037 BC, king of Hebron in 1007 BC, etc. Now that does have the effect of moving all the dates up three years. But it but the problem you got is that when you look at the scholars, they aren't really following the Bible schedule. They're following other conventions, and the conventions are not the same scholar by scholar. So when you get a variance, you have to find out what that scholar is using as his base. Otherwise, it's going to seem like there's a contradiction, and there's no contradiction. They're just using a different number base. If, for example, like the number base that I use in the Genius XLS worksheet is following the Dionysus Convention of saying the Lord was born at the end of 4 BC, which is fine because that's the sort of used to be mainstream. And so the mainstream, you know, talk about when the temple went down is 586 BC. Okay. Because everything is backed, you know, is, is minus three years all right because these are all end of year numbers they're, they're minus three years and that's fine but if you really want to be correct use this timing here because all that's just strictly Bible of course the smartest thing we could do is just say hi he was born 4103 from Adam he dies 4136 from Adam Okay, the tribulation was, uh, the 57 year countdown was supposed to begin in 4143 from Adam, and the millennium was supposed to begin 42, at the end of 4200 from Adam. That would be better. But that clears everything up. So the thing that, that's left is like, okay, Paul is using, back up here, Paul is, is writing in the year 4159 from Adam when the Lord would have been 56. Scholars because scholars um, are making the wrong kind of mistake here. They're saying that that's 58 AD for Paul. Okay, but it since they're already saying 4 BC for Christ's birth, then it wouldn't be 58 AD. You'd have to lop off three years, which brings you to 56. You see what I'm saying? So you're so it's like they're three years ahead instead of backing off three years they gotta subtract three years from a lot of their dates now when they do that they're using the this is the next confusion they're using the Roman AUC system a lot of them to come up with the Bible dates <clears throat> but the Roman AUC system has a problem the problem with the Roman AUC system is that Varro padded three years due to a civil war that occurred back in the 300s BC and he padded three years because he wasn't sure who was consul what year he made up a lot of information he assumed that the rulers each had 35 years of rule and all this other stuff okay so you almost have to chop off three years from that too 
okay just chop it off I, I, don't, I don't know a quicker way to fix it okay just chop it off but as you can see it really does balance when you take the whole picture into account it really does balance to the numbers that we get if we take into account that you know hello there's only 1437 years between his birth and the exodus okay and then the other thing that, that you know you want to remember is that there was a different deadline when Moses wrote he was using the deadline based on Jacob's birth to get his 1050 but because David died at 77 that inserts a three-year extra credit which changes the 54 years to millennium to 57 that's why you got 50 plus 7 in the Mosaic law okay so somehow Moses knew something about it <clears throat> that's the only thing I can infer because because it's 50 plus 7 Passover is seven days long not four days long the four days is between lamb set aside and lamb executed and that's in Exodus 12 it's four days it was four days from the time Christ ate the Passover which was happening on the lunar calendar so it was running fast to the time that he actually went to the cross it was not one day it was not Good Friday it was Good Wednesday now you know I'm I'm not sure how much my explanation helps if it doesn't yell at me and I'll try to say it better <laughs>